Hello, my name is Livia Gentile and my partner for this activity is Lauren Madsen. We are both students at the University of South Florida and studying to become elementary school teachers. Our fourth grade ELL focused student throughout the semester has been absolutely wonderful with everything that we ask of him. And throughout our time and all of our case studies that we've written on him, we have realized that he struggles most with writing. Um, he's just not confident in it. He doesn't enjoy it at all. And I think that those two things go hand in hand. So we figured that it would be appropriate to look for some interesting writing activities that could get him excited about writing. For this lesson, we decided to stick with what our focus student is most interested in. Um, he needs support in formulating his thoughts into full sentences, so we wanted to focus on building his writing skills by starting with activity that's similar to a Mad Lib, and it looks like this. We chose the mystery story because he loves to read about mysteries. This type of activity will help familiarize him with adjectives, nouns, and verbs. And as you could see, or as you saw on the worksheet, it doesn't tell you specifically, so I would suggest that we put that in um, when creating a worksheet for your students. We want our students to be able to have fun with activities such as these, so we can definitely use this as a whole class activity, whole group, and have partners work together and then have an assignment that they can work on individually later on. After this activity, we want to be able to move forward and have our students write their own story rather than just filling in the blanks. It would be best for them to start thinking about things on their own and how they can use their imaginations to come up with different stories. We want to be able to have our focus student write his own mystery story to practice writing in full sentences and paragraphs that make sense. We also want him to practice spelling words correctly, and this can be done with a word bank or getting back to using our dictionaries and looking up those words and building on those skills. I think that this would be up to the discretion of the teacher and what they would like to do with their students and how much time you have. Um, it's definitely great to be using those dictionaries. In order to have them write their own story, you can use prompts or physical items in the room that they can touch and see to write a mystery story about, but I think that that might be better for those students who need less support. So in our student's case, we would use a writing prompt such as it all began with a, and then the student would write a short mystery story in his own words with proper sentences. From our readings, we have found that many of even our fluent English speakers struggle to get their point across while writing. Students often struggle with meaning, and this is definitely for our ELL students. So one of the effective strategies is process writing, and it includes pre-writing, drafting, revision, editing, and publishing. We think that this is a great way for our students to focus on one part at a time in order not to feel overwhelmed because once you write something, you think that it has to be perfect right away, doesn't it? We get to go back and we re-edit, we look at what we've done wrong, and we figure out how we're going to fix it. The students can then take it one step at a time and be able to check in with the teacher in order to make revisions together and understand why those things need to be revised. I think that this can also help to build our students' confidence in writing because the teacher will be there for support every step of the way. He will also have the chance to look back at his work and be proud to share it with his classmates or display it in the classroom once he's published it. Overall, our objective is to improve our focus students' confidence in writing through scaffolded activities and writing practice, as well as spelling practice. Um, so our scaffold activity was the mystery story Mad Lib that I showed you at the beginning, and this allows the students to be somewhat in charge of what happens in the story, and then we can move to where they have full control of what happens in the story by using prompts. Um, and then they're in charge, they get to use their imagination, so that's something that they can be excited about and be proud of when they look back. And so they'd be able to use process writing and have the help of the teacher to keep moving forward in the right direction. You can continue using these activities with different genres genres to keep up with the interest of our students. It's just students like to be involved in what they like to do and what they like to learn about. So give them the chance to work through that and understand what they like and use their imaginations to write because it's all practice and we're just trying to get them to write well. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed these activities and feel as though you can use them in your classroom with your ELL students and with all of your students really. So thanks.